I've learned that he, um, he listens. Uh, he he is, is a little bit unlike many politicians. Um, okay, I get, that I might be enough to leave that <laughs> sentence right there. <laughs> but in that, as politicians, we're very, very much trained uh, to you know, s say something and stick with it. Uh, whereas he has shown that you know, if he says one thing and then actually hears good counter arguments or good reasons why he should shift his position, um, he will uh, take a different position if it's, if it's a better one, if the arguments win him over. And I think there's a, uh, there's a challenge in that for electors, but there's also a, an opportunity in that for people who engage with him to try and uh, work to achieve uh, a you know, uh, beneficial, uh, beneficial outcomes. Do you think in a strange way he's helped you define yourself uh, more clearly? You're often cited as the kind of anti-Trump now because you, you believe in this old liberal order. I think I can speak for all Canadians in the room where we work very hard to not be defined as being not American. Uh, <laughs> we try to define ourselves on our terms. 